Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Update on our risk for strong storms today. There's a little bit of a shift in the track, which is going to really focus on South Carolina, but it's going to be a close call for some of these storms coming down from Tennessee into the Carolinas. Let's get right to the radar and satellite, show you what's happening right now. We're in that northwest flow. The storms are forming to our northwest. The mid-level flow is coming in from this direction because there's a big mid-level high pressure system over the south and everything's being steered around it. So we call this Northwest flow because that's where the energy and the transfer of storms is coming from. That's the mid-level steering current. It's also the same reason we had smoke um, the last couple of days before it started to push out because of that same Northwest flow. But you can see the cluster we're watching back to the West. I'm gonna stop this here. I'm gonna turn the satellite off for a second. We're gonna throw up the day one severe weather outlook. And you can see that risk of uh, severe weather, low to medium, that medium risk right now is right in here and this is going to be driving down into south carolina but notice that the risk is right on the edge of the north south carolina border so i think it's going to be focused down here in the midlands and the upstate of south carolina eventually down into the low country of south carolina we go to tomorrow that threat will shift further south and we'll go all the way into the weekend and that threat shifts even further south so let's look at the future cast to kind of show you where these clusters go because this is the nice thing about this flow sometimes it can throw you some um, curve balls, but you can actually see where the storms are coming from to our northwest, and it's all about where they go from here down to the southeast. So let's take a quick look at that. So we'll just look at the high resolution rapid refresh because this is the kind of day it is. Once the storms form, you kind of get an idea where they're going, and we'll go hour by hour here. And you can see I'll go to about lunchtime today. You see from Knoxville to Asheville down to Greenville, that looks to be where the cluster of the storms are going. And we go into the afternoon hours. They start pushing down to the south. What will be interesting to watch is there's definitely going to be some strong winds and likely severe weather with those and these. Do we see storms develop out here? Because sometimes the outflow boundary can help kick off additional storms. So the fact that I see sunshine out right now and dew points are pretty high could mean some, uh, some isolated strong storms. But clearly the bulk of this is going to be traveling pretty much down I-26 from the upstate. Looks like another cluster forms back in eastern Tennessee and tries to make a run at us this evening. This is 6 p.m as we go into seven, eight. So you can see that the bulk of this, this action is really in this corridor right here down to the southeast. We could see a few stray showers or storms here, but if you're in Asheville, Greenville, Spartanburg, um, Clemson, down to Anderson, then Columbia South, Augusta, down to Charleston, Myrtle Beach, this is really gonna be the focus for the storms today. And you can see them pushing off these. This is an 18 hour future cast. So I'll loop it a couple of times here and it will really reiterate where these storms are going and that kind of lines up i mean perfectly with the severe weather outlook today i'll throw the severe weather outlook back up there and you see our medium risk area that's the corridor of where we're going to see storms today doesn't mean we couldn't see some pop up further north but i think that's the corridor the primary threat is going to be damaging straight line winds there is a small tiny threat for tornadoes but that's very small it's not it's not something off the charts. I mean, we had one yesterday, very similar environment to eastern North Carolina, but this is not kind of the same setup here. But it's going to be straight line winds, flash flooding, hail, and lightning that will be our primary concerns today.